algebra students, today we're talking about adding, subtracting, and multiplying complex numbers. Now, I've got two complex numbers here. A is uh, 2 plus 3i, and B is negative 3 plus 5i. So what if I wanted to add a plus b, or subtract a minus b, or multiply a times b? What would I do? I'll show you. It's easy. Okay, first off, addition. A plus b. Well, a plus b, let's see, what's a? It's 2 plus 3i. What's b? It's negative 3 plus 5i. And all I want to do is add them. Well, it's just like adding an algebraic expression, okay? You just take your like terms, and in this case, the like terms are going to be the real numbers and the imaginary numbers. So 2 minus 3 is going to be negative 1, and 3i plus 5i is going to be 8i, and you're done. That's all there is to it. Now let's subtract them. What if I wanted to do a minus bi? Well, a minus bi, again, we would have 2 plus 3i, and we have negative 3 plus 5i, and this time we are subtracting this whole thing there. Okay? Again, it's just like an algebraic expression. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to distribute this negative. Okay? And when you distribute the negative, you're going to have minus negative 3 actually is plus 3. And minus positive 5i, 5i becomes minus 5i. And so we end up with 2 plus 3i plus 3 minus 5i. Again, let's combine our uh, uh, like terms. 2 plus 3 gives us 5 plus 3i minus 5i gives us minus 2i, and there's our answer. It's easy as that, okay? So adding, just like, uh, adding and subtracting, really, are just like simplifying an algebraic expression. Multiplying, nah, multiplying is a little, uh, a little more involved, but still very, very doable. Let's see. If I have a times b, a times b is going to be 2 plus 3i times negative 3 plus 5i. Okay? Now, this time, as you can see with the parentheses around these, these look a lot like binomials, don't they? They do. And we're going to multiply them exactly the same way. We're going to multiply them just like multiplying binomials. Some people uh, like using the method we call FOIL. It's an acronym that stands for, stands for first, outside, inside, last. Some people like drawing a little box and doing it that way. Uh, there's lots of different ways of writing it out, but you always end up doing pretty much the exact same thing. So I'm going to use the FOIL method. I'm going to say 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. 2 times 5i is 10i. 3i times negative 3 is minus 9i. And 3i times 5i is plus 15i squared. Okay? Easy enough, just like multiplying binomials. But, what's i squared again? Wasn't i squared something uh, very particular? Yes, it is. It's negative 1. So if i squared is negative 1, that means that this thing here becomes minus 15. Okay? because I'm adding 15 times negative 1, which is like saying adding negative 15, which is just like saying minus 15. So now when I combine my like terms, I have negative 6 minus 15, which gets me negative 21. And I have plus 10i minus 9i, which is plus i, and that is my answer. Okay? So multiplying uh, when you're multiplying complex numbers, here are your steps. You write it out like this. You multiply the numbers just like you would multiply binomials. So you come up with these four terms. The last term is going to have i squared in it. So what you do is you treat that i squared as a negative 1 since that's what it is. 
then you combine your first term with your last term, since those are both the real uh, components of the uh, complex number, and you combine the middle two terms, and you end up with a complex number, a real part and an imaginary part, and that's how complex numbers are written. All right? Hope this helps. See you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.